just uh, I studied material science. At that time I had to make my choice between metals, polymers, ceramic materials like a specialization and I always liked plastics for being innovative for somehow pushing into new areas somehow overtaking applications which were to be used uh, by other materials and so they were innovative and have been innovative. If we look at automotive, it, it depends on the very part or component you develop. Uh, sometimes you simply use uh, the function of the material itself. So, technically, it's it's relatively easy to beat metal performance or lightweight wise. So definitely one driver is lightweight. Uh, construction is still an important issue. You have to pay attention to what happens in cost and automation and uh, assembly process. So there, yeah, there are still things which need solving or particular solving and where composites are a bit more complicated than compared to, to metal solutions we have already in the car. Composites are growing and I think especially with the change to electrical cars there are new topics uh, especially for composites and plastics because there is no past where one can say we have been doing this for the last three decades in metal and it works and it's the best and there was an ev evolution to a so-called optimum. Now we're looking for new solutions and that's a chance for plastics and composites to drive into those uh, new applications. Is, uh, that underwrite guard. It's basically a protection plate for a, for a BEV vehicle. It's a new uh, Audi Q8 e-tron and therefore the first time we, we managed to change it from an aluminum design to a composite design. It's glass fiber PP so it's well I wouldn't call it low-tech but it's quite basic and uh, volume applicable material. Economically it was still good or even better than, than its counterpart. If you find such application it's easy because it's lighter, it's even cheaper and it's safer. <music> Try to think for yourself and uh, cross-check the ideas you get probably from others by your own basic assumptions, especially when it comes to pricing. The beauty of, of composite is you can do everything with it uh, and if, if you don't find the solution you make it even more complex and then so sooner or later you, you will get to your technical goals like a big toy box to, to play around with and one needs to stick to simplicity. The composite world might be quite big and, and, and fascinating and you pick up many new, new ideas and uh, but you need to ask yourself what's behind it, uh, how you can really apply those nice ideas in a product without making it too complex.